Okay, so in this video, I'm going to try to demonstrate what's going to go on. So when you're putting um, the other uh, case on top of this part of the transmission, so all these shift forks have to be pushed up. So you have this one, this shift fork pushing up, this one being straight up, this one going to be straight up, and you're going to have this one and this one straight up. So when you're putting them down, they're going to move. They're going to go like shift back up like that. So your only window when you're putting that um, that part on here would be viewing it from here. So you could just like push this up, align it till you see that a little um, ball uh, bolt and just uh, torque it down or tighten it down here. So then they won't shift anywhere. So then you have this part right here and there's like a viewing window how to see this this piece right here so when it it's um moved on the shift it up right now it's shift up but you have it like that and then you have another viewing window looking through here so this part is always going to be a little bit lower so you have a you can use like a flathead through that hole and then you have like your flashlight on your phone and then you just move it up and once that happens you can just use your uh your bolt and tighten it up onto there so that part won't move and the only way you could do that get that from not moving is you would just from the window you have here you could just push this part up and you have that thing moved to that location and this one's a little bit tricky because it's a bit angled so then when you're pushing it up so you have like that so you have to push it forward and then you have to push it a little bit up too, um, just to line the bolt. I'll try to show, uh, get a demonstration. So when you set it on here, this is how, as close as you're gonna get it. And this is the part where you're gonna start fighting it through. Um, so you have this section right here. So this is the part I'm talking about, the window right here. Um, so you have this bolt right here, so you can have to loosen that one. Only for uh, that part right there, if you see that little um, groove section, it's gonna line up to the bolt. That's, uh, let me see if I can line, if I can show you. The bolts that's gonna be right here. So that's where that's gonna line up. And also you have these two windows that I'm talking about. And you can see like that part right there. And I don't know if you can see that one, but it's not aligned in there yet. Um, but yeah, so you just have your shift forks here and you have the other one on this, on this side right here. So that's a little bit of a fight. You're gonna have to go, go through. But yeah. Okay, so you have that section Right there, you see where that hole is? So in that part, that's where you put this uh, flathead. And you'll move this, so you're gonna lift this up while your flathead's still in that little hole. And you're gonna shift it up so it can raise up. And then you'll put the transmission down on it and it should look like this. So then you'll have that, this part here, down low. So now you have this shift fork that has to line up into that hole right up um up there so you're gonna line that up and also at the same time you're gonna try to line the shift fork that's all the way in um in the back there and you could you could um already tell like um at the same time you're lifting that that, that they both lift up so let's try use a flathead And it's not gonna lift up only because it's gonna be a little bit stuck there. So you just have to push it in there. And you could possibly even like use your hand and push up on it. That was lying there. It's almost, you have to use like both hands on this. So then you have the flathead that's down. So you have a flathead that's down there that you're gonna try to um, push this up as well. 
So now let's lift it up in there. And it shifted it. So now you have to uh, push that one up. And I'll see if I can do this gently without messing up. So you're gonna go clear um, back to that shift work over there. Then you're gonna press up and you're gonna hear it click a little bit. There you go. So you heard that click. And it's still not sitting flush, but you just had to play around with it for a little bit. And now you get to this point. The groove is, um, let's see if I can point with it, is, Is right there so you just have to push it up so I'm gonna use this um, bigger flathead you see that so now you're gonna have to go in here and this the last one you play around with is in this section right here so now you have to line this one and the groove is right down there and you have this one right here and that one's almost lined up because the groove for the bolt is like this one right here and that's the one that's connected to the plastic um, yellow piece but this one right here is separate, so this one's the one you had to move up. And then once you do that, everything here is going to close up. So the way I do it is that uh, I always start with this, with the one right here. That's above. The shift work right there. And then from there, I work on this one. And then I work on the yellow one that's going to be in here which is connected to this one as well. And then I, after it kind of closes up to itself, like where it gets to this gap, then I go back up here and push that one up to see if that one's connected, um, flush to the center here. And the last one I do is this one right here. Only right, because this one's a little bit more difficult. And you see right there the grooves in there so now I could probably just put the bolt and the groove in this one line that up push it up there it is you heard that so once you put one fork in and it's like up you could uh, put the bolts in there so you can have this flathead pushing up against the, the plastic right there or the metal part right there and when you get it right there now you could um, put the bolt in there which is this one right here once you're done you can start aligning these holes so you can get like a flathead I see right there so you aligned it that one that one, that one, and that one right there. Maybe move just a little bit right there. And now you gotta line these right here. So you have this right there. That one's aligned. That one's aligned. Okay, so now you have these right here. Looks like these are aligned. one these are the lines here okay and now you can start um torquing this all tying down all bolted ready to go just need to clean it clean it up a bit yeah so that's the SST transmission on how to close that um gap so yeah 
hopefully this video helps